Hello guys, I'm Kolo and today I'm going to give you some news that have happened lately in the WoW event, Love is in the Air, and some tips on what to do, maybe after you buy the mount and so on. So I already have this mount for from last year, but I finally got one Swift Lovebird that I think I can post now for around 40k, because there are so many people farming it. And this is what I want to show you. It's 40k, the least one, the cheapest one, and then they're like 135k. But these are not going to sell because they are going to repose them at like 40k. So what you might want to do is keep your mount a couple of months until the prices go up again, and then sell it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sell it to to send it to my bank account, and then just wait a couple of months. Just as I did with the coins of many faces that I got during the Hello's end. And uh, another thing that you might want to do is with the rest of the lovely charm bracelets and lovely tokens that you get, just fill up your collection with anything or just level up your heirlooms as you do as you see here. Maybe I think I'll farm for Study Love Fool and Love Boat because I don't have them yet. But other than that, uh, the mount is the only one that you might want to sell from this vendor and the news lately I tried a lot of farms with groups and solo and I think that the drop rate for lovely charms has been nerfed I do not know if it's true but in, with a group I got way less than I did solo and I tried a lot of farms like in Molos of Drainery in Broken Isles and each time I was doing the farm solo on every class so it's not only on the demon hunter I got way more lovely charms than before so from now on if you want to farm you may want to farm it solo and just leave the groups aside for a while find a group find a good spot you know, like uh, the Azuna Falcozors here or the High Mountain Falcozors uh, somewhere around here I do not remember maybe the Stormheim Falcozors the Falcozors are the best ones to farm right now there is another farm in uh, Warlords of Draenor in Spires of Arak right here down below the Setek Hollow or something. Well, there are, there are many bugs, you know, that are respawning instantly. And there are a couple of more farms. I tried a lot of farms even on lower characters, but I like to farm on my level cap character, so I know I'm doing, I'm getting way more lovely charms per hour. So. Again, keep on your mounts for a couple of months until the prices go up again and not sell them for like 40k. Even so, 40k is a good price because I've seen on other servers that are going for like three, for like 20k, 15 to 20k. So and people are willing to sell them for that much, but I'm not. So I want to sell it for like 100k, 130k, and I think I'll post it on the auction house maybe only after five months. And I post the coins of many faces again, like three months or so. So, hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And see you later.